Hello there and welcome back to another video today. We're going to go back to the Lego City. I hope to get a few more Lego City or at least Lego display videos out as we've still got the Minecraft diorama to start building and that is going to be a whole new world of fun. But today the city's looking a bit empty. We've got to get our minifigures back in. I've got a whole bag of them just behind me and also some new vehicles to the city. Some updated models of vehicles that I've taken from the city and... We've got a few new poly bags and sets here and there, so we will be adding them all to the city today. But first, let's go take a look at the city. I want to get some before shots so we can compare a bit better towards the end of the video. And then we'll take a look at the cars and get them straight into the city. And as you can see, I have already added quite a few of the bikes. We've got this stunt bike back as well as a bunch of these different bicycles. But the city just doesn't look the same without all the cars. I mean, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different bicycles. We've even got a kid on the skateboard. So I definitely want to add some vehicles, make it look a lot busier and definitely polish up that Lego queue. Get a bunch of different civilians waiting for the Lego store to open. Perhaps even eventually get some figures back into the Lego store as I forgot. We took them out of that and the sea life, so that might be also in today's video, so stick around. But of course, you may have noticed all these bikes have no people inside them. It's not really a problem for these, as we have taken the minifigures. But Spider-Man came straight from his set. Doc Ock is there, and I weren't too keen on the bike. It's a very inefficient way for Spider-Man to get around. And you can see how they've clipped Doc Ock to that lamppost. I really did like that design and as you can see I've added another clip to the lamppost on the right here so if I can grab my Spider-Man you can see that I've attached some of these web elements to Spidey using a clear, I don't really know what that piece is, it's the stud with the bar on the back and this web piece has another clip on the end. So if we take a look at the lamppost and I can one-handedly clip him on, he can be swinging through the Lego City. And actually, I don't think that's too bad of a pose for him to have. He's spinning a web to try and get onto one of the taller buildings or perhaps some sort of crane or cloud. And as you can see, he's just trying to catch up with Doc Ock just in front of him. And perhaps this is where we can take out this bike and take a look at our first figure and just before we go to the desk to look at the first vehicle rather than figure this is the before shot of the city and i might even have to remove the snowman once i add the vehicles back and the reason we are taking spider-man's bike away from the city is so that we can introduce this brand new poly bag which i don't actually have the poly bag bag for so i'll put an image up on the screen to match my other poly bag reviews as i have combined all of january's 15 poly bags into a video already and we're already getting another three in march so venom's street bike as the poly bag is called is the only poly bag we're getting in february there are a few other smaller sets that are to be given out as a gift with purchase but I really like the bikes. The biggest disappointment with this bike is we got another Venom. Venom's currently in a mech, which is actually an amazing set because it comes with a Miles Morales as well. Two minifigures in a mech. We will happily accept that from Lego. So that is great to see two minifigures in a mech. Hopefully Luke's mech later this year, if it does come out, comes with that bonus figure. But the polybag is quite a nice one. As I was saying... It would have been nice to have got Ghost Rider instead of Venom, but they have styled this very well with Venom, and they've even used like his big tentacle pieces on the back. Some nice white shiny wheels instead of Spider-Man's. It does come with two red stud shooters, which I definitely think is an odd choice. Perhaps black would have even been better. Spider-Man come with white because of his webs. Venom, I guess, could shoot little bits of himself and black would make sense. Red was a very odd colour for Lego to use, but I guess they had to get them red bricks in somewhere. As we've got some white brackets, a few other white pieces, some dark and light greys. There weren't really any other colours with the set. This will be making its way in place of Spider-Man's bike. And I've just realised 
I forgot to put the other Venom tentacle on, so there is a mistake. Caught cool on camera, I don't always build sets perfectly, but I really do like this set. I really like the bikes. I can see why many people aren't if you've got the Venom bike, the Spider-Man bike, the Captain America bike, the Black Widow bike, the Catwoman bike, the Batman bike. I think you get the point. There are a lot of bikes for these superheroes, both Marvel and DC. I mean, Batman's definitely got his fair share of bikes, but... A Ghost Rider bike would just be so cool to get. I hope the next one they put out is for Ghost Rider. But this is the first vehicle for the Lego City. So I'm going to leave that in the background just to remind you it is making its way there. And I think the next one we will bring in is from another licensed theme. I did try to build the Jurassic Park sort of buggy. The open top one where they see the dinosaurs for the first time because I really do like that design. It's huge. This is the official build for, well, not the official build. I've, of course, used my own parts and custom built it. But this is the official size of Lego's own one from the set. And you can see three of my duplicate CMFs, which if you haven't seen my video where I go off my whole CMF collection, I do have a fair amount of duplicates. So I have whacked them in this car. But this one was way too big for the Lego City. I mean... It's quite literally a nine, maybe even ten studs wide when you account for the wheels. And I don't like Speed Champions because they're eight studs, which is the width of this middle part here. And they're way too big. They just about fit on the roads. So there is no chance I'm fitting this one on the roads. And that is why I have built this smaller scaled buggy. This is scaled up to the official Jeep set that Lego have released. And again, you can see there are two duplicate cmfs that i've got here they're a bit better fitted for the weather of the island jurassic park is on which i still can't remember it is on the plaque for the t-rex skull but i think it's much more suited to the scale of my lego city and of course i've copied as many features as i can from it even some of the coloring on the side it's just a shame i couldn't get them slopes to match up with the extra bits protruding from the buggy but i think i've done an amazing job here i've even got the same colored seats inside you can sort of just see behind the front driver that there is that sand green seating and rather than three it sits two minifigures which for a vehicle around my city i think it's good enough i've even got the red lights on the back using some snot brackets and some red transparent cheese slopes so I think I've done really well with this set. I really like how the micro version turned out because it is a bit smaller than it should be. But I guess it scales up to most of the other Lego cars. I have got my fair share of Lego cars, but it took me a while to find the windshield piece for this as I knew I only had the one. But I'll definitely be building some more cars in the future. But before we get on to all the other vehicles that are entering the city at some point, I made these two, well one of them's a poly bag, but I made this one custom and wanted to customise the vehicles that were already there. So if you sit this one to the side, you may remember the Lego movie garbage truck that could be turned into an attack chomper and this is that vehicle now. Now as you can see, I have completely got rid of the garbage truck at the back. I thought a waste vehicle was just a bit too... I don't know, it's just a bit too unique to include in my city. I don't have the space for many vehicles and a garbage truck taking up one of them. I just felt like it was a slight waste of space in the fact that I could make something much cooler and Lego have released this official set which has some sort of go-kart on the back of an actual truck which itself looks like it's ready to race. And that's what I wanted to mimic here. So as you can see, I've got some cheese slopes here to hold the vehicle on the back and I've actually kept the designation of the lorry because it would need one anyway and just looks really cool in fact the only thing I've really changed is this back bit here which has a shovel and a broom perhaps to get the car out of any muddy troubles but the car that fits perfectly on the back is actually this police poly bag which is new for 2024 it's one of the January poly bags so we got a February poly bag and our first January poly bag being reintegrated into the city because it was there anyway and this sits just on the back there it's got a nice little spoiler and some flashy lights so it does look like it is ready for racing and 
This will be driving around the city, I guess, if I ever expand the city big enough to have a little dirt track. I can then move the buggy onto that dirt track, but it looks really cool. And again, it's based off the official Lego set. And rather than buying it, if I could make it using my own vehicles, I might as well make it myself. And speaking of making it myself, I have taken another set, the Arctic Explorer, I think this was, which was a little sort of ski buggy that was capturing a lovely image of some seals but i gave it some wheels for when it was on the road and i've actually turned it into a little quad bike myself so as you can see i really like how i've done the front of this because it looks like the mouth of some sort of whale or some sort of arctic creature i'm going to go with a whale and you've got the eyes or headlamps on the side and it does look really cool of course we do have the seat where this person can sit down and it is a bit more of a slope to resemble the legs going either side but of course it's lego so the legs do have to sit on top but we do have the camera on the back for when she gets there she is ready that is a very determined face to capture some images of seals and i just really like the way this buggy turned out as i'm sure when they get to a snowy terrain they can just clip on the sled pieces or even just wrap some chains around these wheels and continue across the snow now we have four or i guess five vehicles if you want to include the buggy i'm including this one on the right as one vehicle so we have four vehicles down and one more to go and that last one is indeed using this spaceship from again another january poly bag i had so many different vehicles that i wanted to keep and all i've done is add some wheels on the bottom in fact these wheels at the front are free spinning as you can see they're not stuck on any of the bricks because there is a technic separator just between these bricks here and that is enabling that wheel to spin freely you can see there is a slight gap just between the wheel and either side of the lego bricks and that enables this now to roll on terrain perhaps this isn't even a proper spaceship perhaps this is just someone who's a fan of the lego space sets and has decided to turn their own personal vehicle, their own sort of buggy or go-kart into this spaceship. You see all the time with licenses like Star Wars, people turning their cars into different land speeders and ships from their favourite movies. So I like to think this is just a fan of space. There are some accessories on the side, some crystals that have been clipped in, which I guess are helping to power the vehicle as well as this battery here and i just think this turned out really cool i like the ship anyway and i could definitely be building some sort of space base in the future and take the wheels off add this back into it but for now i think this would make a very nice part of the lego city and now we have the five vehicles let's go and place them in the lego city and now as you can see with the before and after i'll try and loop the images over each other the vehicles definitely add a very nice overall feel to the city. I guess we've still got to add the minifigures, which we'll get to in a second. But they make the road look much more busier, like it sort of should in a Lego city. I realise that I have taken away the policeman's quad bike. Hey! So he is chasing after the truck to perhaps he's the stunt driver for the bike and He's been left behind and he's trying to get his quad bike back. But I really do like how this Jeep turned out and all of the other vehicles just fit so nicely. Now it's time to populate the Lego streets. And now we have one last comparison from when there were no minifigures or vehicles to the vehicles being added to now the minifigures are in place. And it does look much much better especially with the hustle and bustle on the street you've got all the streets lined with cars and i've even removed the snowman to give the town a little statue which does use 3po's body and legs with a nice gold head above some sort of water fountain and you can actually see there is a criminal hiding behind the bench because there's a few cops coming his way but I really do like just all the little stories and the Lego queue in particular. As you can see, has so many different characters. You've got Tony Stark and Pepper Potts. You've also got Wild Style just after them, if it can focus. Hawkeye's just behind. There's a kid from Monkey Kid. Jasmine, Lois Lane. You've got 
Harry Potter's dad, Marge, and even Lola Bunny just at the back. So I've added a bunch of licensed as well as unlicensed minifigures. Spider-Man swinging there is amazing. Of course, Captain Jack still just chilling on the bridge, drinking, and I'm very happy I built the bridge this way because it just clears the lorry. So let me know what your favourite addition to the city has been for today's video down in the comments below. I'm definitely liking this Jurassic Park vehicle more than any of the others. There is a heavy bias towards that though. I really do like the new Venom bike poly bag that I guess you can just pick up wherever you normally grab your poly bag. So keep an eye out for it. I haven't really seen it in too many places, but that is all for today's video. Make sure you are subscribed before you click off this video as we are so, so close to hitting 700 subscribers this month. It's definitely gonna happen. So thank you all so much for the support and as always, may the bricks be with you.